Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina, if you're new here. Summer is approaching, well, summer is actually here. July 4th is coming up. All of the great holidays are coming up very soon. So in this video, I want to give you guys five different summer refreshing cocktails to try, whether you're having a barbecue or get together or just having a girl's night out. And speaking of girls, I got my girl Noreen here. Hello. She has a channel, I'll be sure to link it down below. Be sure to check her out. What's the channel, girl? Naturally Nori. Naturally Nori, we did it. Travel mostly, travel, beauty, lifestyle. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, definitely be sure to check her channel out. She's gonna help me make five cocktails for you guys, five summer refreshing cocktails. And I'm also gonna show you guys some of the glassware that I picked up over the last couple months. I've been really obsessing over different variations of glass. A lot of them I got from Amazon, so they're definitely fairly priced. And some I got from another store as well. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so for the first summer drink, we're gonna start off with a blood orange vodka spritzer. So if you're into a very light calorie or very refreshing light drink, this will probably be of interest to you. So the ingredients for this drink is rather simple, like I said. The first ingredient that you'll need is just two ounces of vodka. You can use any vodka of your choice. If you're into Tito's, you can go with that. You can use whatever vodka you want. The vodka that we're using is called Vodka 6100, four ounces of sparkling soda, and about a couple slices of blood oranges. Now, if you want this to be a little bit more flavorful, I would say let it infuse a little bit longer and then you'll be able to taste the blood oranges a little bit more. But for the most part, like I said, this is just more of a refreshing vodka soda. Okay, so next up is the Spiked Coconut Limeade. This drink really puts me in the mind of being on a beach, on a vacation somewhere. Very tropical, very laid back, and I absolutely love it. I'm not the hugest coconut fan, but for my coconut lovers, this is the one for you, and I actually really enjoyed it. I love coconut as well, so this is my favorite drink. <laughs> so going into the ingredients, it was two ounces of tequila, two ounces cream of coconut, two limes. The first one we made was a little bit runny, but next we got the perfect consistency that was a little bit thicker and just top it off with nutmeg as a garnish and a slice of lime. And you can have this on the rocks or frozen, but we chose frozen. We just wanted something a little bit more chilling and refreshing on a hot day. Okay, so the Pink Silk Panties, that is our next cocktail. I know the name sounds a little ridiculous, but I promise you this is one of my favorite cocktails, one of my other favorite cocktails, I should say. Um, for this one, the gin that we use is kind of non-negotiable, so if you're looking to achieve this same cocktail, you'll definitely need this gin. So the gin that we used was the Empress 1908 gin. It is a very florally gin, and I really think it adds to this drink. The ingredients that we used is two ounces of gin, one ounce of peach snaps, simple syrup, a squeeze of lemon. To top it off, we used a little salsa soda. This drink was really pretty and I actually enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was really pretty. Like this is the dainty girls night out or Definitely. brunch. Definitely. Love this cocktail. So I mentioned before that I am not a coconut person. That's not my go-to, but what is, is margaritas. I will have margaritas not only on vacation, but pretty much all year round. So in the summer spirit, we're going with a watermelon margarita here. It definitely gives you the summer vibes and it's just a more refreshing version to a regular traditional margarita. So for the ingredients, we have fresh watermelon, about two cups, two ounces of tequila, one ounce of triple sec. We need two limes. If you want a frozen margarita, you can definitely go with frozen chunks instead. We decided we wanted to switch it up after our last frozen drink and go with a traditional watermelon margarita. And we used a mixture of salt and cayenne for the rim. You can also use tahini or sugar, depending if you want a spicy or sweet version of the drink. 
top it off with a lime and a watermelon for garnish and we're all set here yeah this is also a really pretty drink i really like this one as well there's so many good ones <laughs> Okay, so don't hate me. I know I say every drink is my favorite, but I actually really like this one as well. This one is a cucumber mojito. Now, if you're looking for the most refreshing drink out of all the drinks we mentioned today, I definitely think it's this one. And if you're not a cucumber fan, trust me, maybe try it first. I wasn't a cucumber fan until about two months ago, and now I'm obsessed, and it's one of my favorite drinks. So for this one, we're gonna add mint to a glass. We're also gonna add some lime slices and some cucumber slices. Add some simple syrup, and then we'll muddle this together. Top with a little bit of ice. Add your rum of choice. We're using Don Q. So like I said, whatever your preference of rum is, is up to you. We're gonna give it a good shake. And here you can either strain into a beautifully curated cucumber glass, or you can just pour everything into the glass altogether. It's your preference. Um, we have two versions here, but they both taste the same, essentially. So, like I mentioned, this is one of my favorite drinks. They all rank really high. This was like my favorite Yeah, of all of them. And I love margaritas, but this was my favorite. Right. And you didn't think it would be your favorite. I didn't either. either. It was so refreshing. Exactly. So give it a try, guys. I promise you, if you're not a cucumber fan, just give it a try because you never know. Okay, guys, so those are the five summer drinks that we chose and all of the lovely glasses that I've picked up over the last couple months. Be sure to give the video a like and thanks to Noreen for stopping by and showing some love to my channel. So much fun. Thank you for having me. Of course, make sure to check out her channel down below. If you're interested in any other hosting videos that I have, be sure to check out these videos right here and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.